Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and in this video I will tell you how to create a multi-level drop-down list. For example, I can choose any country from here, say India and from here it will show me a different state for India and from here it will show me a city relevant to the state. Alright, say in Uttar Pradesh you have Lucknow. So from this drop-down again I can choose US and if I choose US then it will show me the states of US. Florida and California all right and from here it will show me the cities in California Sacramento or Los Angeles and again see I'm choosing India now it will show me a state for India only say Madhya Pradesh and since I've chosen Madhya Pradesh it will show me cities in Madhya Pradesh which is Bhopal or Indore I'll choose Indore my city again US so this is a three level drop down list city would now be state would now be based, based on US state is Florida now the city would be based on Florida so we can choose Tallahassee isn't it cool you can do this very easily under three minutes I will tell you how all right so here is our raw data first you have to create the dependencies so I say the first dependency would be based on country all right so india and us then based on that it should show states all right so states would be uttar pradesh madhya pradesh for india for us it would be florida and california all right and then the cities the cities for florida would be tallahassee and jacksonville for California, it can be Sacramento, Los Angeles. For Uttar Pradesh, we call it UP. The cities would be Lucknow, Haridwar. For Madhya Pradesh, MP, it would be Bhopal and Indore. So now, this is three level, all right? So country, state, and city. Now, to do this, I will first create a drop-down list. So for example, say, we want the drop-down list to be till here, all right? So I'll give it a, a border so that we know where we are talking about. Okay. From here till here, I want to give it a drop down list for countries first. For doing that, I can simply create a list. All right. And do that. We all know how to create drop down list. But I let, let me also show that to you. Correct. I select this area. I go to data. I go to data validation and I go to any value and from here I choose list and from here I choose the values that would be in that list I click OK and my drop down is ready so it is India US India you can you you decide that all right up to you now we can choose states also and cities also. So if we choose India, then Indian states should be shown. If we choose US, then US states should be shown. Now that cannot be done as easily as creating a drop down lit list, but I can say even more easily. Yes, even more easily. How? First of all, we will have to give these ranges a name. All right. So the way we give a range a name is we select that range all right like this up and mp uttar pradesh and madhya pradesh and i click over here and i give it a name all right the name has to be say india and then for florida and california i'll choose us and for showing the cities of of florida i'll select this range and give it a name from here i can do that i can do this process in a single click how I can do all that in one single shot. I'll press Control Shift Function F3. Automatically, my create name selection would open. I will just have to select where my header names are. So they are in the top row. I'll click OK and my name selection is done. If I select this, it's automatically showing the, the name of this range is India. If I select this, it's automatically showing this range is US. Same is for this, Florida, all right? So now let's move to creating our drop-down list. 
So I select this complete area where I want the drop down list. So based on the country, the states should be shown. So I will create a drop down list from here or I can press Alt D L and my drop down list option would open. I'll select list and from here I will give a formula. It's called indirect. All right. And here I will refer it to this. Okay. If I'm in state, I'll refer to country. If I am city, I'll refer to state. So what this formula will do, it will refer to this name. Understand that this name is a range and will go to this range and pull up data from here. All right. I just have to ensure that I remove these dollar symbols. Otherwise, when I copy this, it will be a problem. I press enter. It's done. So if I choose chosen India, it's showing UP. If, if I choose US, it's showing Florida or California. India, it's either of the two options. And in US, again, either of the two options. Now the same process will follow for cities also. I'll select this. Alt D L from this list. Now you will tell me what will I have. I'll type is equal to in direct open the bracket and select this cell. Just be sure that you remove the dollar symbols so that when we copy it, it gets applied everywhere. All right, we are done. So if I've chosen India, UP, it's showing me the cities relevant to this state. If I've chosen US, Florida, I get the states for US, Florida. Isn't it amazing? So this is how we go ahead and create multi-level drop-down lists. I hope you like this video. If you did, please click on that like button right now. And if you want to download this file, you can go to myelesson.org, go to the download section. And from there, you can download this file for free and do subscribe to the channel so that you are aware whenever I create a new amazing video. And I also be motivated whenever you subscribe to me. So until the next video, this is your guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning. ये जो वीडियो आप देख रहे हैं ये और इसके जैसे बहुत सारे वीडियो अवेलेबल है मेरी वेबसाइट myelesson.org पे यहाँ पे जाके आप उनको देख सकते हैं कुछ ट्रेनिंग फाइल्स भी हैं जिनको आप डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं साथ में ही इस वीडियो के बारे में अगर आपके कुछ क्वेश्चंस हो तो आप जरूर यहाँ पे कमेंट्स में लिखिएगा मैं आपको जवाब दूंगा और अगर आपको ये वीडियो अच्छा लगा है तो जरूर लाइक कीजिए और चैनल को सब्सक्राइब जरूर कीजिएगा उम्मीद करता हूँ कि ये वीडियो आपको पसंद आया होगा अगले वीडियो तक के लिए दिस इज योर गुरु नाउ Signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.